Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, tonight's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things I would like to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button and bell so you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to tonight's video. Nice video. I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things I'd like to get into when we're talking about the situation first and foremost with Lil Scrappy. I want you guys to take a listen to something, and then, of course, I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. No, nah, Rashida ain't never leaving Kurt. Like, that is, I talked to Rashida and Yandy last night. Them motherfuckers ain't never leaving them, man. They real women. Real women don't leave they men, cuz, at all, cuz they know what, they know the future. The future is go far and beyond these other these weak, weak, they leave they, they want to be on their own. They think they strong. Okay, be strong. You feel what I'm saying? Be on your own. Raise all your kids. Do everything. So as you guys clearly just heard what little Scrappy had to say, and now we know why he's been in the predicaments that he's in. How dare you get on live and you of all people and try to tell the people that you had to have a conversation with Rashida and with Yandy because those are some real women. Because real women don't leave they man. Scrappy, what the hell are you talking about? First of all, anybody should have left Kirk. Now, this is one thing I will say about Kirk, and I'll give him his credit on this. Yes, he's been around Rashida, you know, well before all the money and all this other kind of stuff. And yes, he really did believe in her career and really did try to help her and has continued to help her. I'll give Kirk that. He's he's good in that field. But let's not let's not forget, bro. Kirk been on the show looking guilty, looking suspicious, looking all type of ways. And don't get it wrong, I like Kirk. But Kirk has clearly showed us who he is. And then when you had this love child with another woman, and then even now. Your study getting caught. The girl put you on blast. We just saw that this past Tuesday or Monday, whatever day it came on. You just got put on blast for hopping in Jasmine's, you know, on the text message. I'll say DM, but you hopping on them text messages because you got her private number. And you're trying to negotiate, you know, SEX with more money and stuff. Like, what are you doing? Your study making Rashida look stupid. And to tell you the truth, when we're talking about Yandy... And Mandisi's now I don't know if what Jasmine said is true and if Mandisi's was or is kicking it at her strip club that she works at and all that kind of stuff. But what I will say is that Yandy has not been listening to Mandisi's, okay? And I understand that it's gonna take them even probably right now some time to still get used to each other. He was gone and arrested for a long time, you know. She had to go from you know being with him and doing things with him to doing everything on her own to trying to adjust back to getting used to him coming back. So honestly, he needs to give her grace on that because it's gonna take a minute. And I'm sure that he's probably feeling by now, listen girl, I didn't been out for a, a little minute, like, and you're just study excluding me. It's gonna take her some time to get into that. But Yandy was doing some things to make Mandisi's upset. Like she wasn't communicating. And then every time they was communicating, he study telling you, I don't appreciate this. I don't want you to do this X, Y, and Z. And you just wasn't listening. So, what are you talking about? And you, sir, have cheated on all of your women, Scrappy. You can't keep your nothing in your pants. You don't know who you want to be with. You don't know who you want to love. You don't know who you want to marry. It's all different types of things. You are the absolute wrong person to be talking about this situation. Ugh, please put a pin in it. The absolute last. The next thing that I want to talk about is this situation with Ray J and Princess. I'm pretty sure that we all heard the tape that's going around, and if you haven't, take a listen to this. Everything's fine. I want Epic to just tell Mama that he's going with me, so Mama knows what's going on. Okay? And my father. Don't don't. It's not like that, baby. It's I my love brother. You. I spent time with him for a long time. I love you. Ah! Come here, baby. Ah! Come here, baby. Ah! That's my brother. I know. I love you. Come I here. Love I love my brother. I love my brother. And I love you. Okay? He loves you. Okay? I'm so, I tell your mom I'm so sorry, but whatever's no, going make on. Make her happy. Come upstairs. How do I make your mom happy? I'm I'm give, her, give her a hug. 
like she's not, do you think she's gonna take my hug? Go oh, ask your mom, will she take that as hug? No. Go ask her. No, you have to go ask her. I don't wanna be in dangerous like area, okay? Go, a, go ask your mom real quick, okay? Hey baby boy. She said leave who alone. She told you to leave her alone? Mm -hmm. Did she give you a hug? It's okay. She's just mad. She's still a great mom, okay? okay. She loves you. I love you. You can not have to go with us. I don't know if I think wants to go with us. Can I'll stay here. I just don't want somebody to call the police on me okay. for me not doing nothing. Okay. Like we're just having a conversation. Huh, baby? Mama wants to take your hug. Huh? You want, she wants to take your hug. She wants to take my hug? Uh -huh. Okay. Then everything's okay? Yeah. All right, cool. So as you guys clearly hear what's going on, it's sad, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why it's sad. It's it's not sad like, oh, this happened. No, it's sad because they are continuing to act like these type of people, ridiculous, the baby Krishan Juniors and, you know, uh, blue faces. You guys are how old now? And y'all still putting hands on each other and doing it in front of y'all children? Y'all should have known from the beginning. If nobody knew anything or if nobody had no whatever, even just watching Love and Hip Hop, the show, you saw so much on there. And you could tell that these two did not need to be with each other. Absolutely not. They were horrible for each other. Now, honestly, I think that's separate. They may be really good people and good and stuff like that. But honestly, them together, they bring out the worst in each other. And then you guys are doing it in front of your kids. Let's not forget when they was on Love and Hip Hop. Let's not forget that one episode where they got into it or whatever. And she threw the drink in his face and he pushed her into the pool. Let's not forget on Love and Hip Hop. When Brandy and Ray J, Mama and them was, we don't like her. They, they clearly was bulking and telling, you know, voicing their opinions and everything. They was clearly telling you what it was. And I know a lot of times people are like, man, our parents and our, our family don't know nothing. They just be hating. And then sometimes you do have a word your family is hating hard because they just don't want you with nobody. But then if you keep going and that person really is a good person, they'll kind of win that person over. You know what I'm saying? But that didn't happen in this case, and it never was going to happen in this case. And these two took it further, got married, had children, and now you guys are fighting in front of the children, got their daughter crying, she don't, the mama don't want to give her a hug. Like, this was a whole bunch of mess. And what makes it even more disturbing and more just, I don't even know what you want to call it, why would you record this, Ray J, and post it? Why? Or why would you be on live? Why would you do something like that? This is the most silliest thing that I've ever saw in my life. You have children and you would get your butt online or just even record that part. And is it good now? Is it good? Do mommy want to hug? Like, you know what you're doing. And at the end of the day, if both of y'all need to go to rehab, if mama need to go to rehab, and if you need to go to rehab, both of y'all need to go to rehab. Because at the end of the day, it's not good. It's not safe for them children, bro. Like, what is y'all doing? Y'all knew that this relationship was going to turn out a certain type of way. You can't force nobody to change. And if a person want to show you who they are, let them show you and get away from it if it ain't working. Both of these situations have just annoyed my a-hole. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just totally don't understand what people be coming at. Like, y'all could be doing so much more with y'all time, y'all money, y'all influence. But instead, these are the games that y'all want to do. Y'all want to get on the internet and play these type of games. It's just ridiculous. Y'all drop a comment in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all of this. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video respectfully.